Hey guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Here I'm just gonna go ahead and brush up my baby hairs, grabbing my Slim Shady pencil from LA Girl and Brunette. I'm gonna start filling in these brows, give them a little bit of shape and form so that they can go ahead and look bomb with our makeup. Now that these babies are filled in, I'm taking my Brow Gal Pencil Duo and I'm taking this creamy lighter side just to clean up under the brows. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a nice line under my brows and then I'm going to grab a concealer brush and start brushing that out just to shape and clean up those brows. Okay, so next, to set that in place, I'm going to be taking the color Rolling in Dough from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette, and I'm going to go ahead and start applying that all over my lid just so that we can have a base for the next shadows. This next shade is from the Jaclyn Hill Palette, and we're going to be using Pooter. I'm going to start applying this as my transition shade all over the crease. We're going to just build it up and blend it out. Now that we have laid that color down, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Cocoa Truffle on my Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to start applying this a little bit below that transition shade just to help deepen it up and start building up color. Moving on to the lid color, I'm going to be using the color Twerk, which is in the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to be taking it on a flat brush, and I'm just going to start packing this color onto my lid. I just want to intensify this and make it nice and bold, because it is going to be the star of the show, so just make sure you start packing that down, and then we are going to go in and blend out those edges. Once we have the intensity that we want with that blue color, I'm going to be going in with Roxanne and it is this maroon reddish tone shadow and I'm going to be applying it on the crease and start buffing it out to make sure we blend out that blue color into that transition shade. Next, to add a little more drama and definition onto the eye, I'm going to be picking up Decadent and I'm going to just put this on the outer V of my eye and start blending that outward. Then you want to grab your big fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe M533 and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out um, the outer edges just to make sure everything is blended nice and seamlessly. To add a little more drama onto the eye, I'm going to be picking up Drippin' Diamonds and placing this on the center of my eye. We're not doing a halo effect, but I do love this technique because it does bring out your eyes and the shadow. So I'm just placing this in the center with my finger. Don't mind my ratchet nails, guys. I did end up getting them done, <laughs> so no judgment. The glitter does transfer a little bit, so here I'm just gonna be taking my blending brush and just blending that into the crease just to make sure it's nice and cleaned up. Since we did work with some darker shadows, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a makeup wipe and these are just like the store brand, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up under my eyes and then give it that cut effect on the edges of my eyes. 
To conceal my under eye dark circles, I'm going to be taking this yellow corrector by LA Girl and I'm just placing this in the areas where I will usually place my concealer just to cover up any dark circles. Taking my wet beauty sponge, I'm going to go ahead and just blend this in before applying my concealer. Next, I'm gonna be doing my wing liner. So I'm gonna be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. I love this one because it is so precise and the felt tip at the end of this helps give you like super thin lines so you don't end up with super thick eyeliner. So I really, really love this product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner here and give myself wings. Now that we are ready to freaking fly with these wings, I'm gonna go in with my Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo from Stila. And I'm gonna be grabbing this lighter shade and I'm gonna be applying it with one of these spoon looking um, brushes. I don't know what they're called. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in the areas where I usually will contour and bronze. Taking a small stippling brush from e.l.f., I'm going to go ahead and start blending out the contour so that we have a nice, bronzy, pretty face before applying the darker shade. Once that is all blended, I'm going to be going back into the Stila Duo um, contour palette and I'm going to be grabbing this darker shade. Yes, it does look super dark, but a little goes a long ways. As you can see here, I'm just applying a little bit onto the areas that we applied that first shade. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and um, blend that out. If you guys are looking for a new contour kit or want to try out some cream contours, um, this one by Stila is super good. It is blendable, pigmented, and easy to use. Ugh, I just really love this. It literally blends like butter on the skin. To blend out my nose contour, I'm going to be picking up my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. The concealer I'm going to be using today is my Ride or Die. It is the Maybelline Fit Me in Sand and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in triangles right under my eyes, on the bridge of the nose, the chin, and the forehead. Once again, going in with the Beauty Blender to blend this out. Literally, the Beauty Blender is my go-to tool. I use it for highlight, for concealer, for foundation, um, for cream blush, for cream contour. I mean, literally, you can use this for everything. So if you don't have one, you definitely need one. To set my concealer in place, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Brush and the Airspun Mousse Face Powder and I'm just going to pat this under my eyes just so that it sets that concealer in place and it brightens that area as well. To warm up and bronze up my face, I'm going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk Bronzer. It is in the shade Golden and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in the areas where I applied my contour just to give me a little bit more warmth and a sun-kissed effect onto my face. Okay. 
To set the contour on my nose, I'm just going to take a smaller brush and then the same bronzer and I'm just going to go ahead and pat this on the areas where I went ahead and contoured earlier. Moving on to blush, I'm going to be taking this one by NYX in the shade Terracotta and I'm going to be applying it with an angled brush, just patting it ever so slightly on my cheeks just to give me a little bit more dimension and glow on my face. This next step is completely optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this apricot in the middle blush from Wet n Wild and just apply it on the apples of my cheeks. The last blush that I used was a little bit more on the bronzy side and I did want something to give me a little bit more flush of color onto my face, so I went ahead and did this, but again, you guys don't have to do this. It's a little extra if you ask me. I'm going to go ahead and finish my lower lash line, so I'm picking up the color Butter from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to start swooping this all over the bottom lash line just to start blowing it out and making it match to what we have on the top. Next, I'm going to pick up Cocoa Truffle, and this is just going to intensify and darken up that lower lash line. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on there as well. Taking a flat definer brush, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the color Decadent and I'm going to start lightly patting this in on the outer corners of the eyes just so that we can go ahead and have that eyeliner effect, but I'm also going to go ahead and fill it in afterwards anyways with some eyeliner, but this is just a step that I like to do. I did want to do something slightly different this time for this eye look, so what I did is I extended that black shadow a little bit over the lash line, so as you can see it's not directly following the lash line, and it's just something cute that I wanted to do for the eyeliner. Next I'm taking the color in light from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm popping that on the inner corners just to complete this look. I'm also going to be applying it on the brow bone just to highlight that area. Here I'm just going to go back in with some dark shadow and I'm just going to intensify that lower lash line. Here I'm just going to go ahead and set my brows with my Give Me Brow from Benefit and I'm just going to apply a nice little coat on top of my brows just to set them in place so that they do not budge throughout the day. For a highlight today I'm taking Crown of My Canopy from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to apply it with a fan brush on the high points of my face just to give myself a nice glow. For lips today, I am going to be taking my Spice Lip Liner from Milani and then I'm topping it off with my NYX London Liquid Lipstick. This combo together is just absolutely pretty, so I love it, love it, love it so much, especially for this look. This is the nude color that I was going for and this gave me life. I did want to lighten the lip just a little bit more so I'm taking this lipstick by Bite Beauty in the color nude and I'm just going to apply it over top. Then I'm going to take my Milani 16 hour wear setting spray as usual and yeah you guys this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos.